What do hostage negotiators and admissions representatives have in common? Admissions representatives many times come across as salesy, come across as pushy, even though they say they're not. They're trying to get people to do something. They're trying to get people to create an appointment. They're trying to get people to show for a virtual appointment. They're trying to get someone to apply. They're trying to get someone to enroll, and they're trying to get someone to start. People hate to be pushed. They love to be inspired. They love to be connected and supported. Hostage negotiators. We could take a major number of pages from the playbook of hostage negotiators to become way better, more effective, more inspiring admissions representatives. How is that possible? What does hostage negotiation have to do with admissions? And it has a lot to do with admissions. Because what do hostage negotiators do? Number one, they've got to create connection. Number, number one. If they don't create connection with whoever is the person holding the hostages, they're not going to do anything. They cannot help. They're also looking to de-escalate the tension and fears that are going on with the person who is holding hostages. With that, a hostage negotiator would not ever be effective if the the person holding hostages is feeling pushed or feeling sold to or not feeling like the person, like the hostage negotiator cares. So one of the fundamental perspectives, one of the fundamental mindsets of a hostage negotiator is to be completely detached to the outcome. If the person holding hostages feels that the hostage negotiator has an agenda which is not in their best interest, they will many times kill the hostages. So a hostage negotiator has to have a mindset which I call the Zen mindset. Complete detachment to the outcome. I saw a movie. In fact, I saw it at some point earlier, but I saw it again yesterday. A movie called Hostage by Bruce Willis. And Bruce Willis's character, when he's negotiating with people holding hostages, he is totally laid back. He's not like, okay, well, we got we to gotta get you to do something now to save the life. We don't want you to hurt anybody else. He's laid back. Hey, you know what? What can we do today? You know, how can I help you? And with that very laid back attitude, people feel at ease. People don't feel pushed. And then when they don't feel pushed and when they feel at ease, there's space to not only create connection, but to create solutions for whatever is going on in that moment. So with admissions, how admissions reps can learn from hostage negotiators, let go of the outcome. Never, ever be pushy. Because I call this the admissions paradox. The more your prospective student, your explorer, the person who is exploring their possibilities, the more they feel pushed or sold to, or it's about your agenda, not about theirs, the less people are going to move forward. And the more people feel that you authentically care about them, and ideally you do authentically care about them and their interests and their their future possibilities of creating a better life, the more people will move forward. Because in fact, most people are being held hostage. Many people don't realize this in admissions. Most prospective students are actually being held hostage. But they are not being held hostage by some other person. They're being held hostage by their fears. So if you learn the approach, which is going to take a lot of practice and role play, of detaching to the outcome, if you learn that approach, like a hostage negotiator, you will actually free people from the hostage of their fears. So more people take action on their dreams. I am Lexington Maximus. CEO and founder of The Art of Admissions.